okay, this is going to be like a month long vlog. Uh, as I record this, it is about eleven uh, thirty p.m. on the twenty fifth of February. Um, for this, I'm doing something I've been putting off for a, a long time. Really, I'm reworking the VHS collection. I have got things I need to do. Uh, I need to replace some v uh, VHS tapes. I need to find cases for some of them. Uh, I need to reorganize the Tom and Jerry collection because uh, I put that poll out uh, a couple of weeks ago at the time of recording this. And whether or not I should put them in chronological order or numerical slash alphabetical order, so I'm needing to do that. I've just got a lot to do, so... I'll be recording this bit by bit as things happen, day by day, and hopefully have this done by April 1st. So yeah, this is going to be a long one. Okay, this is February 26th, and the first thing on the list I need to do is reorganize the Tom and Jerry collection. So at the time of recording this, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a poll asking how you would organize a video collection like this because as you have seen in the Tom and Jerry Video Memories review, I have these videos, volumes one, two, three, and four, and they were released in 2002. But on that hand, I have volume seven, which was released in, I think, yeah, 1995. So I asked, how would you organize these between chronologic, between numerical order or chronological order? And there's no real contest there. It was overwhelmingly chronological. So I had this all planned out. I had this all figured out that I could handle this. So I thought it out, but then I saw there was a problem. I mean, obviously... Bad Dick Cat Rock comes first, because that was 1989. And then from there, I think it was... Tom and Jerry's Cartoon Cavalcade. And then Mouse Line and Sinker, but then there'd be a problem. This is meant to be next, the bumper collection. But as you can see... It doesn't fit. So... I need something else to fill the space, so... Just like I did with uh, Jack and Ori Ted in the Bed when I bought the Lion King 2, I am investing in something else then. Bubble wrap to all hell. I decided to invest in Pingu's Big Video. Now, if you remember, I reviewed this about two years ago, and the story was um, this was at my grandparents' house with. Where is it? Thomas gets bumped and, uh, and uh, 17 other stories. And, you know, my cousin took this. I took uh, Thomas gets bumped. I thought it was a good switch at that point, but clearly not. So the whole point of that story was that I didn't have it anymore. So I never thought I needed to invest in it. But honestly, as, as the um, years have passed, I thought, you know, this was one of the best videos in the collection. It's in the... I'm trying to think about the rankings. I think it's in the top 15, bare minimum. So, you know, I figured I have to get this again. And as a placeholder, it fits. So it goes right here. Now, of course, when you add a new video to a collection like this, every single thing needs to move along one. So I've got to move this. Where did I put the YouTube returns? And then you have to refix everything because everything gets knocked out of alignment. Oh, it's worth it. It almost looks like something else could fit on that shelf. Yeah, good enough. And we're not even done with um, with uh, Mewtwo Returns because I have something I need to do with that, which we'll see as the days of, as the days progress. Right, so I think, oh shit, right, I gotta move them up there. It's weird, the, the shelves feel less crammed now than um, 
than they did beforehand. And I have no idea why. Right, so that's good. Now, 1997, I think this was. Yep. That was 90, 90, 1989, 1993, 1995. Take them out. Yoink. Okay, what was next? When did the magic ring come out? 2001. One. Two. Three and four. Oh my god! And that's just and that's just uh, one day's work. So that's Tom and Jerry organized. Now I need to get a few more videos. Okay, it's March first, and just as this video is premiering, the next VHS tape has arrived. Now, step two, I think it's step two, I've lost count, is to replace um, VHS tapes that are missing uh, cases. In that case, it'll be Children's Cartoon Favourites, Ice Age, and Tom and Jerry Volume 1. And honestly, what are the chances that it shows up right now? Hang on. Quick look at the chat. Yeah, not much is happening at the minute, but we're working on it. And I'm talking about Blast Off to Mars, which is probably the best Tom and Jerry movie, at least that I've seen. Right, so first step, replacing this. Oh god, this would be a nightmare with one hand. There we go. A lot easier to do without a camera in your hand. March 2nd. Um, I'm still waiting on a few replacement videos. Like videos that are missing cassettes and such. But this, something else has arrived. This is something I'm hoping to use for a Halloween review. Uh, I won't spoil it yet because I, I need to get a few more videos with this. But let's have a quick peek. Right, so if you know what that movie is and what franchise it's from, you can imagine and probably work out what I'm doing for October. And for these, and for the new videos I've purchased, I've had to install a new shelf for this. This used to be the duplicate shelf, but I've got more videos coming, so I need to make as much space as possible. So I've had to install a new shelf. And see, the issue here is I'm missing a few shelf pins that actually hold the shelves up. So I went on Amazon to... So I went on Amazon to buy what I thought I needed to fix the shelf, and sure enough, these don't fit. So, you know, I had to dig around and find whatever I, f I could. So I had to settle on regular nails to hold the shelf up. And you know, I'm lucky. And as soon as I do that, a nail falls out. Shit. And sure enough, apart from one nail just falling out just now, it fits. So it's stable. But I'm going to have to fix that. Oh my god. The, the stuff I go through for this. And sure enough, as soon as I fix the shelf, I get another delivery. Tom and Jerry, Volume 1. Now, as you saw in the Video Memories episode. I have Volumes 1 through 4, they're all in cases except for Volume 1. So naturally it felt odd to have one without a case. So I bought this as well. So this goes down here and this goes on the duplicate shelf. So gotta move everything up. And believe me, this ain't the only time I'm going to be moving, moving the videos here. <sighs> I think I've got room for maybe two more spares here. So that'll be fun. <sighs> so that's two videos in one day. That's not bad. In a, in, in a span of about 15 minutes. So that's pretty good. Whew. March 3rd. I've had a new delivery, and if this is what I think it is, it's another three videos for 
the Halloween review collection. And once I've got everything, uh, we can have a proper reveal. I, uh, ow, I almost cut myself. Come on. No, is it going to be that? I mean, it should be because. I have ordered all, I've ordered most of the videos individually and this was a pack of three, so and honestly in a box this size, what else is it gonna be? And is it oh oh this fucking rat there's fucking paper in this. I mean the guy on eBay said he was gonna he's gonna pack it nicely, but I didn't expect paper. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yep, it is what I thought it was. This looks awesome. Take these stickers off. There's a couple of stickers on them. I'm taking them off just now, if I can. Yeah, I'll work, I'll work on that. So yeah, three videos, got them. And when I've got everything, and we'll do an, a proper tour of everything. That's when I'll reveal what everything is. I've, um, when it comes to these uh, these uh, vi Halloween videos, I've bought another two of them this morning from the same dealer, so they'll be coming. And as for the rest of the collection, I've got three more videos on their way, and I've got, I think, just one more to get. Well, one more for the main collection, two more for Halloween. So I'm getting there. I'm almost there. If I'm lucky, I can have all this done within a week or two. But I'm not in a major rush here. I've got the, the rest of the month to do this. So yeah, so far so good. Okay, same day, uh, March 3rd. We have got another one. And this is the last uh, VHS tape without a case. It is Ice Age. Move that. And we have this one, which is nice. And I can't get it in in one go. Of course I can't. And there we go. There we go. The last one to be replaced. This is why VHS tapes died out, because they're a nightmare to get out on the shelf when you're holding the phone. Who would have thunk? March 4th. Uh, no deliveries today, apparently, so this is going to be a quick one. I have bought every video I need, whether I'm just buying something new or replacing something. So all I need to do now is just wait for things to be delivered and then I can do a proper tour. Fabulous. March 6th, and we've got a new delivery. Uh, it was one of those days where I assumed there's gonna be nothing delivered. So I get ready to go out and do things. And then I realize about five minutes beforehand, about five minutes from when I was leaving, I was due a delivery, of course. So here we go. Yoink. And the box is incredibly secure. Bear with me. And this bubble wrap, of course it is. There we go. At least there's no tape, at least there's no uh, paper with this one. And what do I have? It's a werewolf movie. And once again, I can't reveal anything until we do a proper tour, but that shall be good. Stick this in. There we go. So things are looking pretty good. Um, <clears throat> uh, everything is on its way. Everything's been ordered, everything I need. Everything's on its way. So all I could do now is just wait. March 8th. So I was woken up by the postman this morning. I was expecting one delivery. I wasn't expecting one, two, three, four, five. 
I've got five deliveries this morning, and at the same time, so I was really caught off guard by that. So, overall, with regards to the video collection, I've got seven more videos due, and I have at least five, but one of them is a double pack. I, I think it's a double pack, I'm sure of it. So I have at least six videos here. And I have no idea which one's which, so we'll see what we get. If this is seven videos, then I'm done, and this month-long vlog can end early. So, we start with this big one. What do we got? What do we have? I, is it, well, I know what it is, because it's two horror movies, and I got them from the same uh, seller, so I know what they're going to be. But for the rest of us, you never know. Oh god, okay. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. You tell them to start wrap them. Yep, they are exactly what I thought. They are two horror they are two horror movies. That's all good. Excellent. I'll be watching one of them later actually. Uh I will pick this one next. Let's see what this is. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Toy Story. Right, so... If you've seen... If you've seen the Video Memories review, you know... That my original copy of Toy Story has... A slight problem with the VHS tape, because... The tape reels are no longer connected. I have no idea what happened with that, so... I figured... You know, I love the movie to death. It's, it was one of my first Disney movies ever, really. So I figured, I have them on DVD, but I want to get a, I want to get a new one. So I repl I'm replacing this one because the tape, the tape's knackered. So uh, well, the tape's damaged. So stick that one down there. <sighs> okay, we'll do this one next. The camera's shaking. What is this? And this cardboard. Goody. One hundred percent no refunds policy on VHS tapes. Oh, goody. What is this gonna be? Oh, nice, nice. Well, I got this one from my, most of the most of the tape, the videos I've bought I got from Amaz from eBay, but this one was from Amazon. This was a case of I hold on. I have volumes one through eleven for Pokemon, but I think when I moved house I was missing one, so I I have bought volume two. Uh, what is that? The Mystery of Mount Moon. I don't need it, but I have it now. I'll deal with that in a minute. And I knocked some, something over. Okay. Next one. What is this one? It is another horror movie. Very nice. It's about a cat. Actually, I don't... Oh no, there is a cat in this one. There's, there is a cat in this one, that's all good. And now this one. So this would have to be a double in order to... Hold on, what am I still missing? I don't know, I got one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to think of what else I bought that I'm trying... Oh, it was Mutual Returns and that other horror movie. So this is going to be either a horror movie or uh, Mewtwo Returns. Let's find out. What would it be? What would it be? It's wrapped up like it's a like it's a cushion or something. Oh yeah, you can tell from in here. You can tell.
and we have uh, in a cellophane case for some reason. This is like a different case than what I had before. Mewtwo Returns. So, this was my original one, but main problem with this, there's nothing in it. So, and it's a bigger case as well, actually. I mean, look at this. This this one is the new one, and it's a rental, apparently. And I had a laugh with this on, um, e on eBay about a week ago. I bought a horror movie. It's the first one that arrived, and underneath it, they were suggesting another movie called, I think it's to Return to the Blue Lagoon, and it was labelled as H Rental, which means it used to be a, a rental um, a, a rental release. And I misread that as sex rental, and, I, and my only response to that was, what kind of, what kind of um, porn movie is called Return to the Blue Lagoon? Oh my god. Oh god, that, that one sticks out like a sore thumb. Look at the size of this. Right, we are almost done. We have one more video coming. And I have no idea when that's going to be. It's, a, it's another horror movie. And then when we're done, I can do a tour. And then I have to... I have to redo the um, VHS and DVD catalogue. And then we're done, which will be fabulous. So this, this might come out early. You never know. It's March 11th, and I'm still waiting. It's been a couple of days since the last delivery where I got six videos in one uh, in one day. So at this point, I'm just waiting on what I'm just waiting on one more video, and I've turned into a dog at this point. Every time I hear the sound, the possible sound of a delivery driver or van going by. <clears throat> I really, I immediately just start looking up, and then I run to the window and see if anything's happening. And most of the time, it's it's not for me. So honestly, I just, I just, I'm I'm waiting on one video, and I'm just wait, and I just want it to be delivered at this point because at least then I've got everything I want, and then I can do a proper tour and finish everything off. And oh. March 13th, we made it. Uh, this, uh, this is the last one and it arrived this morning. It was another case of the postman waking me up. So I heard the um, that gadget they have to scan the barcodes and such to confirm delivery. I hear that, then I hear the thing getting pushed, uh, pushed through the letterbox and I'm like, I know where that is. And now I'm only just covering it now because I don't, I don't do well in the morning. Right. Is it what I think it is? Is well, of course it is. It's the only thing I or I, it's the only thing I ordered that still has to arrive. Yep, we got it, and it has more stickers. Fabulous. Right, light, and stick that in there. Whew. Fabulous. So now I have everything I need. So every video has arrived, everything I was needing to replace, everything I wanted to buy to add to the collection. We're all good now. So all I have to do now is do an updated tour and update the catalog and then we're good. Still March 13th, now we can do a tour. We're gonna to start with the DVDs and work our way over. Now, most of this is gonna be the same as last year. But there have been a few purchases, so we'll go through them as we go. So most of this is still the same. The f right, the first thing we have, The Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher. It's uh, a movie I saw a few years back, and I just thought, you know, it was an interesting movie. It wasn't great, it wasn't amazing, but, you know, I thought it was worth a uh, purchase. What, what was, else was new? This is all the same. Edward Scissorhands. Now, this was a movie I saw about 15 years ago, I think. And, you know, it was very dark. It, I had no idea what where they were going with it. So I didn't think much of it. And then last year, it was bugging me. I feel like I need to give the movie another chance. And, 
now it's my favourite Tim Burton movie as well as probably my favourite um, Johnny Depp movie. So that's awesome. Moving down, we got the Fast and Furious movies, Fighting Nemo, Fighting Dory, The Frighteners, Garfield. Gremlins 1 and 2. Um, I found those when I moved house, and my fiance is a massive uh, Gremlins fan, so I thought I'd give her the DVDs, and as it turns out, she already owns them. So I have them now and... They were mine, then they were hers, now they're mine again. Uh, moving along, uh, the Harry Potter movies. Um, yeah, the, I have really mixed opinions about this one. I reviewed uh, uh, Half-Blood Prince already, and yeah, that was a miserable experience, that movie. But, you know, I, li- I like the series, and there was a part of me that was thinking, you know, I need to own those movies. I would feel incomplete without them. So they're there if I ever want to watch them, and you never know what could happen. Now, last time we did the last time I did a tour, I didn't have Home Alone one, and then I found it at my fiance's house, and this is a copy I've owned for five or six years now, and I found it last year in her house. So now I have all four of them. Horrible bosses, horns, horns of who, all that stuff. I don't think anything new is on this level. Yeah, I think it's mostly the same. Got Lion King, Lethal Weapon, Liar, Liar, all that. We got the Marvel movies. Now, I talked about these last year, and then I did the Video Memories episode, because then I realized I've got stories. It's perfect uh, material there. Meet the Pokers, Men in Black, Mr. Stepfire, Monsters, Inc., all good stuff. Ready Player One. Yeah, I, oh, I showed off most of these. Uh, the next new one, uh, See No Evil, Hear No Evil. This is a movie with um, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Uh, they play characters who witness, I think it's a murder. Yeah, they witness a murder. One of them's blind, um, Richard Pryor, he plays a blind character, and Gene Wilder um, plays someone who's deaf, so they got to try, They have to try and work together to find the real killer and go from there. It's a really good movie. I don't know if it's their best movie, but it's, it, was definitely a good la- it was definitely a really good laugh. If we're not on, on to the next level. Uh, we've got Step Brothers, Taken, Pelham 1, 2, 3, Ted 1, Ted 2, Team Wolf, Terminator, The Bank Job, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, still no Toy Story 4, Dream Places, Uncle Buck. Now, the biggest thing to enter the um, DVD collection in the past year has to be the Universal Monsters. I talked about them briefly last October. You know, they're great movies, uh... We'll, we'll get. Well, uh, I'll explain all my introductions to, to this at some point. But I did that video last October where I did a very basic review of this uh, Vox set. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, Wallace and Gromit, Wayne's World One and Two, Wind Crashers, all that good shit. And then uh, Young Frankenstein. Um, I was doing a Mel Brooks marathon uh, a couple of months ago, actually, and we watched Young Frankenstein properly for the first time. And actually, this might be my favorite Gene Wilder movie because this one was really was a good laugh. It's it's definitely a very intelligent movie considering it's made by Mel Brooks, but that was a good one. Now one of the TV shows, we got Ab Fab, Back to the Future, Billy Connolly, Family Guy, lots of Family Guy, Ed Ed and Eddie. Now, I think the biggest change here is that I used to have Hell's Kitchen here. It was 12 seasons of that. But then I went back and rewatched it last year, and I don't think it holds up as well as, as his other shows like MasterChef. So I took... Uh, Hell's Kitchen out, and I have put in 
the Portuguese Looney Tunes uh, DVDs. I talked about them last year. They are fantastic. As well as um, Looney Tunes uh, Stranger Than Fiction. That's also there. And these two... I don't know when I bought these, actually. Six or seven years ago, for all I know. So, yeah, they're there now, and I'm more than happy for them to be there. We got them. We got Rescue Me, Robot Chicken... Saturday Night Live, Adam Sandler, Sonic Boom, um, the Tom and Jerry Complete Collector's Edition. I just talked about that a couple of weeks back, actually. So that's all good. I love that. I love that box set. It's really good. It's not for everyone, but it does work wonders for me. Uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd BFG, the big fucking group of Blu-rays. You know, I love this series. It's prob probably the most rewatchable thing on YouTube. So I had money. I invested in that. No regrets. Here we go. Go on to comedy now. Well, this is more of a miscellaneous section. Dennis Leary and George Carlin. Here we go. Uh, the commemorative collection. I talked about that last year as well. That used to be over there in the duplicate section, but... When I cleaned out Hell's Kitchen, you know, I had some space, so I... Th this is here now. Uh, we got music DVDs and still game the live show. That is not too bad. So not much has changed with the DVD collection. So it's all good. It's all good. Now we've got my TV set up. Uh, okay. Got my TV, obviously. God knows what crap this is. Uh, we got my PS4, my VCR, one of them. I still, ha I still have the other one from last year, and a DVD player, multi regional, of course. And it's all hooked up. This is something else I was needing to do this year as well because when I lived in my old house. And whenever I felt like, and even last year when I was living here, and I wanted to watch something, I'd have to constantly mess around with the uh, scarp cables and such. So this year, I bought a switch box for everything here, for the DVD player and the VCR. And now it's all hooked up to one, as well as my capture uh, cable, which is down there. So yeah, I'm happy to finally have everything connected at the same time. Now, the nifty thing about that Switch box is that, you know, I didn't plan for this, but there is one power with the, with the Switch box. I could be on HDMI. All I have to do is turn the DVD player or the VCR on, and it'll jump to it perfectly. So now, if I ever want to watch a DVD, say, Back to the Future, it'll just turn itself immediately to the DVD player or the, the VCR and it'll just do its thing. Which is quite nifty when you think about it. It's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. But there is one weird thing I noticed with the um, the Switch box, and I didn't intend for this, but it happened. If I'm watching a DVD, and then I get a VC or, uh, VHS tape, let's just say something from Recordable Fridays, and then I put that in, This happens. It's trippy, isn't it? Now you wouldn't notice this on recording on like capture software. So you'd hardly notice there was a thing if you were just going by that. So if you jump between them, then it's all fine. This is Ricky. She invents all the space gadgets and gizmos to collect the boom. Now, I don't think 
it works with the VCR turn off because the the SCART cables powered in the DVD player goes through the VCR, so I'm not sure if it works or not. Oh, it does. It does that's a nice touch actually. So it, it just seems like as long as neither of them are playing, as long as neither of them can play at the same time, which is evident. I'm not. I don't know how that technology works. But if you're doing it via capture software through a video capture thing, you wouldn't notice. So I mean, I don't know how this technology works. As you can see there, it's playing a Jimmy, a Jimmy, uh, a Jimmy Oliver ad. So I'm not sure how, but then the TV's having a, a, a freak out because it doesn't know what to do. It's probably something to do with the signals being crossed. So yeah, I'm I'm happy I got the switch box. I would have been happy just having all three things hooked up at the same time. And then I remembered the DVD player and the VCR could be connected because I it used to be done like that when I was a kid. I didn't expect it to go like this though, where if everything has, um, when everything gets hooked up at once, and then all I have to do is turn something on, and it just jumps right to it. That is a nifty thing. And it was an accidental discovery, but I'll take it anyway. And now we move on to uh, VHS. So we'll go through everything that's here, everything that's new. I don't think anything on the first level has changed at all since last time. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, the first thing here, children's cartoon favorites. Yeah, I reviewed this two or three years ago, I think. Probably two. I think it was two. It was 2019. And it didn't have a case when I found it in my collection. It was actually in Home Alone 2. So I I bought a second copy of the video, which kind of is kind of lame, really, because I don't actually like the video. And you know what's worse? On the front cover is fine, but then you look at the spine, and it's kind of a very underwhelming cover, really. So yeah, I now own two copies of children's cartoon favorites, which is disappointing. Uh, you've got all this. Emperor's New Groove, that is the next Video Memories review. I do have a fair few things to say about that, and we will get to that when we get to it. Got a love Fantasia as well. Oh, these. Ice Age. Yeah, I realized when I bought this, because this was another video that was missing a case, I think I bought a different version because... I've checked out both uh, VHS tapes, and they're not identical. So, I mean, not that it matters. I mean, I'm more... I have a bigger gripe with the VHS case because it's smaller than the rest of them. But, you know, whatever. It, it, I have a case for it now, so not that it matters. Ten and, ten and a bit. Jack and Ori, ten and a bit. Um, yeah, I bought this to do the review last year, and... You know, honestly, I didn't know what I was expecting. I didn't know why I, I had high hopes for this. I mean, just look at the review and you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, Lion King 2, uh, this was a filler video for when I bought uh, 10 in a bed because, you know, I had a space free. Uh, there was a Looney Tunes video that would have well, filled the space, but I only had one uh, one section left, and uh, the Looney Tunes video is a double uh, VHS release, so it wouldn't have fit. So I figured by, by Lion King 2, it's a video I had when I was a kid. All good. Uh, Looney Tunes Special Bumper Collection, still a fantastic release. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've seen most of this in, in the last uh, collection tour. So you, you can go back to that and See what I, what I uh, had to say about it all. Penguin, uh, Pengu's Big Video. I reviewed that. Was that in 2019 as well? I think it was. Yeah, it would have been. And, you know, I had a story for this uh, relating to a Thomas and Friends video. And I praised the hell out of the video. It's actually one of my favorite um, video memories reviews I've ever made. And I figured, you know what, 
I, I really do like the video, so I'll invest in it. I'll get another one. So that was all good. And it helped when it came to moving the Tom and Jerry videos, which I've obviously talked about. Um, Pokemon Volume 2, Mystery of Mount Moon. You know, I was missing that. So I went from 1 to 3, and then the rest up to Volume 11. I have no idea what happened to my original uh, copy of uh, Mystery of Mount Moon. So, you know, I have that now. Mewtwo Returns. Uh, this is a great movie. I watched that a few nights ago, actually, and it holds up. Uh, so as you may have noticed, I have um, put away... I've uh, picked the original case for this instead of the rental one because I just like the look of this one better. So I'm, I'm basically using an, a new VHS tape in the old case, as we all do. Most of all, this is old stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, all the Thomas and Friends stuff is all going to be the same because, you know, I have no interest in buying any other Thomas and Friends VHS tapes. So I've got nothing to gain from that. Chad Valley video, still awful. And then we have Tom and Jerry, which is in a new. Uh, arrangement. Um, it used to be in alphabetical order, but it just looked weird in that arrangement. So now it's chronological. And not that it matters, because Bad Take Cat Rock, that was always first in line, because it's first alphabetical, and it was first chron chronological, because it was released in 1989, and everything else is from the 90s. So we got Cartoon Cavalcades. Move the cable. Uh, Tom and Jerry Volume 7, The Bumper Collection. You know all this. I, I talked about it uh, in the last review. Volume 1 was missing uh, a case, which now, it now has, so that's all good. I mean, I don't need to say much about this because in this uh, vlog on its own, I've talked about why I have most of these, but, you know, people want to see an updated tour. I may as well do one. Tom, uh, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, that's awesome. And now we have the Recordable Fridays section. Nothing even remotely different has happened here, apart from the fact that all the videos are now labelled, which I did last year. So that's all, all great. My handwriting is horrific, by the way. So that's all good. Uh, I'm still missing... Cassette number eight, I have no idea where it is. So in order to make space, I've had to put them together. So I don't know where VHS number eight is, but do what you can. So, and this is all the stuff that was in uh, Recordable Fridays. This is all the good stuff. And this is just random other stuff that I don't really care to show off. Oh, God, which one was it? I think it was number 29. Yep, this is the Timon and Pumbaa Marathon I showed off. And I think number 30 is Lilo and Stitch. Yep. Now then, this is what I've been building towards, and this is what I have in mind for Halloween. Yep, I'm planning for episode 86. It may even be more than 86. I don't know. Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead, but this is what I'm planning for Halloween. I'm planning to do a, a review on the Universal Monsters. So that should be good. And for most of my collection in recent years, I've had that rule where I don't buy what I don't need and what I didn't have in my childhood. And then with these, that rule went completely out the window. I didn't own these when I was a kid. I most certainly don't need them for the review. But it's just, it's the artwork on this, on these. They look amazing. Oh yeah, this was the one that had all the stickers on it. I posted that on the uh, community tab. Yeah, these were all good. Um, I got most of the original movies, apart from... Well, I don't know if the 1943 version of Phantom of, of, uh, Phantom of the Opera counts because it's technically a remake of a 
1925 silent movie, but for the rest of them, I have got all them. It's, it all started with the with Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Mummy. They were, excuse me, they were a pack of three for thirteen pound. Now, like I said, I didn't own them. I don't need them, but the packaging and the artwork looks amazing. So I figured, okay, I'll bid once, and if I lose, it's not a big deal. So I bid on it. And then I get out of bed once, and then my attitude evolves into, there's no fucking way I am losing this auction. So now I have them. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon was the first one to arrive. That was the um, that was the preview I did, where you saw the monster's face. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein, that was the one I was waiting on to arrive. This is the one that came this morning. And that was all good. It's those are the, that's what, with the stickers. This is what was on Frankenstein, and I think it was on the Wolfman as well. You know, it's digi- digitally remastered. It has bonus features and all that. I'm not f- overly big on VHS tapes having stickers, so that's going to have to get dealt with. Um, the Invisible Man. That's also good. I'm, I'm probably going to be watching that later tonight. Actually, uh, the only two I have I don't own on DVD is are The Black Cat and The Raven. And I watched The Raven a few nights ago. It was all very good. So yeah, this is what I'm working towards for Halloween. I People have suggested uh, when I did that video last October about doing a video memories uh, review. And I then I decided, you know, I have things I could talk about. I have a few stories. If I do a single review from that series, it'll be Frankenstein, because that was the first one I saw. I've got opinions on that. I've got opinions on most of the movies, actually. So I'm taking notes, and we'll see what it gets me. Now we have the duplicates, and it's expanded. So we've got the holiday, the Disney holiday planners. That's all good stuff. This is, I think it's children's cartoon favorites. Yep. Uh, that's the original Ice Age. Like I said, the um, the new one I bought, the VHS tape doesn't even look remotely like it. So, I mean, not that it matters. Uh, Pokemon Forever, which I already have here, so that's nothing new. Post and Pat's Big Video, talked about that. Most of these I've talked about. Uh, Tom and Jerry Volume 1, still works. And, to- and Toy Story, this is the broken one I have. Because obviously, if you if you have only one working VHS tape out of two, then obviously you want to keep the working one near the ones that actually do work. So that's all fabulous. And just for the hell of it, I've got some uh, PS4 games here. I don't play video games that much. I mostly use it for browsing YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, Disney Plus, and all that. So yeah, um. Yeah, it's all good. Yes, I do have three um, three cases for Grand Theft Auto Five. I go through that game a lot. And, yep, to guard those three cases, as well as Sonic Forces, I have Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't remember when I got this, uh, this uh, model. His head looks a bit bashed. But he's there guarding the games and a few duplicate DVDs. And then I've got a, f- a few selection of... A uh, small selection of books... It's mostly George Carlin, Harry Potter, and Pokemon, and Sonic is in there somewhere. It's the... Oh, there we go. Sonic the comic. These are the ones I I bought for the GT video I did on Sonic. It's good stuff. It's stuff I read as a kid. Yeah, and I've got a, a, a Sonic comic book there. Uh, um... Uh, Simpsons comic book there as well. That's all fabulous. I think the the only new book I bought recently was George Carlin's autobiography, Last Words. It's a really good book. It's a really good read, and the audiobook's really good as well. It's read by his brother, Patrick. So that's all fabulous. Okay, and that's pretty much the entire... VHS and DVD collection covered. All I need to do now is update the catalogue and we're golden.
<sighs> and with that, we're done. Uh, this has been a long, arduous process, and I'm thankful that it's all over at this point. Uh, I'm recording this, and I did the cataloging on March 16th. So this has been three weeks uh, this has been taken. So it's close enough to a month. Oh, and I don't think I'm going to be able to buy any more VHS tapes because, as you've probably noticed, I don't really have room for them anymore. You can thank the Universal Monsters for that one. Oh, and now that we're done, time to talk about this.